This is All India Radio Shillong, the North East News Bulletin, read by Arkin Pariyat. Parliament has passed the Scheduled Castes and Scheduled Tribes Prevention of Atrocities Amendment Bill 2018 with the Rajya Sabha approving it by voice vote yesterday. The Lok Sabha has already passed it. The amended bill has done away with the provision of seeking prior permission for the arrest of those committing atrocities against Dalits. Social Justice and Empowerment Minister Thawar Chand Gelot said the government is committed to the welfare of the poor and protecting the interest of Dalits. Under the legislation, there is a provision of setting up special courts to deal with the cases related to atrocities against SCs and STs. Partners of the NPP-led Meghalaya Democratic Alliance yesterday supported the state government's move to strengthen existing infiltration check gates to check possible exodus of illegal immigrants excluded from the draft NRC in Assam. Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong said that at the MDA meeting, partners had deliberated on the NRC fallout and the present situation in Assam and advised the government to strengthen existing infiltration check gates and identify areas for additional setting up of such check gates. The partners also decided to back the candidature of Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma in the by-election to the South Tura seat on the 23rd of this month so that his victory can further strengthen the alliance. Assam Chief Minister Sarbanan Sonomal yesterday said that the state government is committed to strengthen communication via land, air and water and has taken various steps to build infrastructure at a rapid pace. Addressing a program after flagging off four newly constructed ferry vessels of the Inland Water Transport Department at Kamalabari in Majuli, the largest river island in the world, the Chief Minister said no country can prosper without development of communication and transportation infrastructure. The new vessels will cut down the time taken by commuters to travel between Majuli and Jorhat. He said new bridges would also connect Majuli with Jorhat and Lakhimpur. Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Pema Khandu has directed the Disaster Management Department to send a team to monitor the unusual high tides in the Siang River in Mebo area of East Siang District. The Chief Minister has directed the Disaster Management Department Secretary to depute a team to monitor the tides for better understanding and examine the possible causes of the unusual phenomena. Meghalaya Governor Ganga Prasad yesterday said the hill state has ideal conditions for cultivation of medicinal and aromatic plants. Speaking at a workshop on scope of aromatic plants in Meghalaya, the governor said there is a demand in the global market for the production of medicinal and aromatic plants and there are immense opportunities in the state for sustainable expansion for the larger interest of growers and entrepreneurs. Meghalaya Additional Chief Secretary K. N. Kumar informed that about 834 medicinal plants were identified in Meghalaya and stressed on the need to have a compendium of all these plans. The workshop was organized at the Raj Bhavan by the Institute of Natural Resources with a aim to provide awareness to the people and young entrepreneurs for development of entrepreneurial skills in the area of essential oil processing and value addition. To strengthen interstate cooperation among the security forces, a contingent of Tripura State Rifles has gone to Mizoram and the Mizoram Armed Police personnel have also arrived in Tripura to participate in the Independence Day Parade. A recent directive from the Ministry of Home Affairs had asked all states for interstate participation of the security forces in the Independence Day Parade of neighbouring states. Parliament has passed the National Sports University Bill 2018 with the Rajya Sabha approving it yesterday. The bill seeks to establish a first-of-its-kind national sports university in Manipur for promoting sports. The Lok Sabha had passed the bill last week. Replying to a debate on the bill, Sports Minister Colonel Rajvardhan Rathor said, the Chancellor of the University will be from the sports field and the Academic Council as well as academic activities will also have members from the sports field. And with that we end the Northeast News Bulletin. From All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.